February, we had the privilege to visit Aruba. As a travel advisor, writer, and vlogger, I was thrilled to explore this island. Last week, I shared where to stay in Aruba, and this week, I'm sharing where to eat. Join me today as I share some amazing eats on this Caribbean island. From casual, chill vibes to elegant dining, this one happy island has it all. Welcome to the Travel with Wendy channel. I love connecting and interviewing small business owners around the globe. I like to share reviews and hit the trails hiking. Thanks for joining me today because it's always, always an adventure when you travel with Wendy. Okay, let's start with breakfast, the first meal of the day. The Dutch Pancake House is located in the Renaissance Wind Creek Resort Harbor. This outdoor shopping mall is filled with eateries, shops, casinos, and boats. It's a beautiful walk around and not bad to hang out in if you have to wait in line for your table. The menu for the pancakes and waffles is extensive and imaginative. I had the Provençal, which was a savory pancake with ham, brie, honey, chives, and caramelized walnuts. John had a peach on the beach, which yay, was peaches, Grand powdered Marnier. sugar, and a Grand Marnier Flaube. There we go. Sizzly, sizzly. <laughs> The Papagayo Bar and Grill on Flamingo Island has a great breakfast. Breakfast is about $22 per person and comes with assorted options of fresh fruit, juice, and muffins. Flamingo Island is a part of the Renaissance Wind Creek Resort, and I'll share more about that in my next vlog on what to do in Aruba. <music> coast of Palm Beach and part of Pelican Adventures is the Pelican Nest. This fun beachy restaurant has great drinks, a bar, and plenty of seafood. John and I enjoy lunch here while boat and beach watching. Happy hour with live music and laid back chill vibe was super cool. We enjoyed fried calamari, shrimp tacos, and a fish sandwich. This was also my first Aruba Ariba, Dolce Vida, the sweet life. Neil's Caribbean Kitchen is next. This is located in San Nicolas on the southern end of the island. This energetic, hip Caribbean and Jamaican restaurant is located in the center of town. We enjoyed a great lunch here, and their menu includes guava roast chicken, crab cakes, curry chicken roti, garlic conch, and lots of seafood options. Their menu is fantastic. John ordered the oxtail with rice and beans, and I tried balchi, which were traditional Aruban fish balls made with cod, potatoes, vegetables, and all deep fat fried. Yum. We just had lunch at O'Neill's Kitchen in San Nicolas. We are about to uh, walk around and see all the murals that are here. We're right outside of a radio station. <laughs> great lunch was at West Deck, which was within walking distance of our Airbnb. This restaurant is located right on the beach in Arrangestad. At this restaurant, the staff was especially personable and accommodating. Would you like to sit on the patio or on the beach? They have beachfront seating that is covered in a cypress tree canopy that's delightful. A Reuben breezes with sunshine coming through. We enjoyed lunch and dinner here, actually. And I suggest trying some local specials like the Aruba Keshi Yeni, which is shredded chicken, cashews, prunes, wrapped in Dutch cheese, and it was absolutely tasty and delicious. Their menu also includes coconut shrimp and rice, samosas, and other island delicacies. heart of Palm Beach is the Lola Craft Bar. This restaurant is tucked under some gorgeous palm trees and is a very tasty and super healthy restaurant. The menu is filled with really delicious options and for this trying hard to be vegan vegetarian, I had plenty to choose from. Power bowls filled with grains, fresh vegetables, and a jalapeno ranch sauce. 
Our waitress was also sweet to recommend a lovely fruit banana concoction as I was dealing with a little bit of a rum hangover. Anyway, you won't leave here hungry. They have late breakfast available, breakfast tacos, acai ball, and waffles, and chicken and waffles. dinner. Here's even more restaurants that we loved for dinner. First up, Wilhelmina. What an incredibly elegant restaurant and hidden gem in Aruba. A local favorite and after one visit I could see why. Additionally, the decor and design are sleek and modern and they have an open garden seating area that is as tropical as this island. This five-star restaurant does require reservations because they stay busy, busy, busy. Definitely one of the best restaurants in Aruba. Their menu included vegan vegetarian options, so I enjoyed the veggies escabiche, which is pickled vegetables with smoked pumpkin dressing and cassava chips. I also had a goat cheese falafel, and this is probably the best falafel I've ever had in my life. Next up is Bochincha. The Bochincha Container Yard is a super cool eatery venue. Several restaurants are located here, and it works like a co-op. You can order from your table QWERTY code style, and you can try many cuisines in one night. They have live music and a really cool bar scene with funky seats. This playful eatery is new to Orangista and close to the cruise port and tourist district of town. to laid back restaurants, Aruba also has several fine dining restaurants. One of our favorites was LG Smith's Steak and Chop House, located in the Renaissance Wind Cream Resort and Casino. Reservations are needed for sure. Make sure you book them at the beginning of your Aruba adventure. The food is spectacular and the views are equally as wonderful. Everything was prepared to perfection. The staff was personable and professional. We had so much fun with the bartenders and our mixologists. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, this is really cool. Watch this. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Very <laughs> nice. Another dinner restaurant and also walking distance from our Airbnb in Arajastat was Yamanja Woodfire Grill. This restaurant uses smoke and the grill in their menu. Located in one of the historic buildings in downtown Arajastat, we enjoyed our dinner on the patio on a warm spring night. Their menu includes international cuisine and Caribbean flavors, and they also had many vegan and vegetarian choices to choose from. We enjoyed the beef carpaccio balm, which is a thinly sliced raw beef tenderloin wrapped in salad and vegetables, Dutch cheese, pesto, truffle sauce, and balsamic cream. I had the vegan barbecue plate, and I liked the smoked truffle mac and cheese. John also enjoyed the grilled seafood medley, which was a combination of different local fish, calamari, garlic shrimp, and mussels, jasmine rice, stir fry vegetables, and spicy coconut curry sauce. As you can see, Aruba is one tasty island. From traditional Caribbean fare, healthy options, and elegant dining, this happy island has it all. I hope you have fun trying these restaurants on your next Aruban adventure. If I can help you plan your stay or a cruise, let me know. Wendy at TravelWithWendy.net I'll be traveling soon to Italy, the Amalfi Coast, Perugia, Tuscany, and Lake Maggiore. Be sure to follow me on social media and remember to like, follow, and subscribe because it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy.